Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. I say it as if like you guys don't know that I'm already with the Cackling Moon, but that's just like, <laughs> that is like a little intro thing that I am just so used to saying, so I say it every time. Anyways, um, I have some time to kind of record a little bit of a video and it has been such a long time um, since I've been able to put up something. And I wanted to kind of do like a little update video, share with you what's going on in my life right now, as well as just kind of discussing some stuff that's popped up. So get yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a snack, sit down, relax, and let's discuss spiritual topics um, and enjoy, enjoy yourselves. Okay, so basically... Um, <laughs> Some updates of what's going on in my life. Um, my husband and I started our um, house hunt journey um, the end of October. So basically that came about because we were looking at, you know, the money that we've been saving for the last two years and we just realized, you know what, this is time. This is, it's not going to get any, it's not going to change much in a matter of a couple months. We've already put down enough money that we could put down on a, a, a on a house and be happy. And we were just like, you know what? We're tired of living back at home. We wanna just kind of embrace our independence again. And so we both decided to move on and start house hunting. So the end of October, we did that. All of November, we were looking around. Um, I can't say how many houses we looked at in total, but there was a couple trips that we made because we decided that was the other factor was where we wanted to locate look around for a place um we ended up just like pretty much agreeing that we were going to be commuting a little bit to work because the places that we were looking at are more affordable with the homes and they are newer homes so to me it's like it's a no-brainer it's a new home it's more affordable but the commute is the only thing i was nervous for a commute but to be honest I would rather drive the, the, the amount of miles that it's gonna be, and it's really not that much. I mean, it's only like a 45 minute drive. But I would rather do that than live closer to where we work, um, but be in a house that's like 50 plus years old. I, didn't, I just didn't feel right about that. Even though the idea of an old squeaky house is kind of, kind of endearing, but at the same time, I don't know, I just, the brand new house, it's almost like how you feel when you're in a brand new car. You don't worry about it breaking down. At least it shouldn't break down. <laughs> <coughs> so for me, it's like, it's the same thing with a, with a brand new house. I don't worry about the pipes breaking. I don't worry about having any issues. Um, so it, to me, it just made more sense. So anyways, we were out in about one of these days looking at homes and it just felt like everything that our realtor was showing us, we were loving. And I honestly, you guys, I, I thought it was going to take us months to find something because our friends were telling us, you know, a range of like the length of time that it took them to find a home. And it just seemed like the norm was, you know, a few months to a year <laughs> of searching. But I'm realizing now that um, I feel like our friends were maybe some people are just more picky than others or maybe this was just a process that was meant to be and my husband and i we just fucking we found what we were looking for it had everything that we were looking for um and it turned out to be the house so on one of those trips we found it and we put an offer in and it just seemed like from that point on everything just kind of worked as it was meant to and you know what they say, when things are meant to be, they will fall into place, right? So we were started the process of all of that towards the end of November. And on Thanksgiving was when we were able to announce to um, some of the, our close family members that we um, are in the process. So we started escrow. And then now here we are in December. We are um, heading into the second week of December and... We are looking to close next week, so as early as next week. Um, so it's really exciting, and um, we were very nervous. There was a lot of, like, for me at least, there was a lot of sleepless nights of just worrying about 
the finances and worrying about, you know, what is it going to be like to have a mortgage? And I mean, after everything was kind of estimated with our mortgage and whatnot, it is clearly the most that we have ever put down, like, you know, for a month to month thing. And so, cause we were, we were renting before that. And um, our rent was nowhere near how much our mortgage is now. And I mean, it's not like a huge, huge difference because when I think about how we were almost, we were really close to staying with renting and we were gonna rent a townhouse, the difference was $300. So it's, when you look at it from that perspective, it's really not that big of a, a leap. But when you look at it in the perspective of how much we were paying for rent versus our mortgage, it is a little bit more. Um, but it's a fucking house. And so I am planning on doing a vlog so that you guys can see our little journey of, you know, this whole process. I wish I would have taken video when we were actually looking through the house. But the house, this is the specific house that we um, um, that we are buying still had the the people the owners were still living in the home so um i didn't feel right filming inside their home when they had still had all of their personal belongings and stuff there so i didn't do a video on that house particularly but i wish i did because that would have been really cool to add into this whole vlog thing that i want to do i'm not making any promises i may or may not be able to but um i keep thinking like i want to document this whole experience as much as i can um, one for myself, but also because if I do have kids one day, I think it would be so cool for them to see just the process of mom and dad finding the house. <laughs> but that's an if, that's like a big if. We don't know if we're going to have kids, but anyways, um, <laughs> um, so that's, that's been what's been, I, that has been what I have been going through. Um, it's been really exciting. It's also been really nerve wracking. Like I will admit I am very nervous, but I'm really excited at the same time. Like I know this is going to be worth it. Um, so we are, like I said, we're like at the tail end of our process and literally before Christmas, we should have the keys in our hands. So um, I plan on, like I said, making a little vlog about the whole process. Um, I plan on making a video of me cleansing the house so that I could show you guys just the way that I would do it. Just because I do it one way doesn't mean that's the way to do it. So please don't think that. Um, <coughs> but I just thought that it would be cool to show you guys um, ways, like little tips of how you can cleanse your space. I'm only used to cleansing a space as large as a, as a two bedroom apartment. So <laughs> cleansing a four bedroom house is going to be different. And that's the other thing, you guys. It's a four bedroom house, which means one of those bedrooms is going to be completely devoted to our office space. And I say our because um, me and my husband are, are going to share the office. Most likely, unless he wants to take another bedroom because we don't have kids. So, um, But that office space is going to be TCM. I am so excited for it. Um, everything that I have, my books, my decks, my table for readings, it's all going to be in one room. And that is where you're going to see the videos filmed. That is where you're going to see my readings being done. It's all in one room. And I'm super excited because it will no longer be in a little corner next to Luna's cat litter box um, in a room where my husband and I share. You know what I mean? Like this is a space devoted to TCM. So that's the second big thing that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm really, really, really excited for that. Um, it has been my dream for years. You guys know, like... When I lived in the apartment, I had my own little space, right? And then when I had to move back home, I lost that space and literally like was confined to a single bedroom with my hubby in an, a little corner, like I just mentioned. So that's been like my TCM space for the last two years. So it's really exciting to know in a couple weeks, I'm going to have my own freaking room devoted to my business. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Once I have everything set up, I will do a space tour <laughs> so you guys could see TCM. Um, other updates. So when this whole thing happens, January 2019 will be a completely new experience with TCM. 
some stuff that I'm looking to invite to this whole um, switch up is faster delivery rates for readings. So right now I'm currently kind of like meshing between seven to 10 days between um, delivery times for readings because right now since I'm living back at home, I am only able to film specific days um, due to people living here. I mean, like it, there's no privacy. So <laughs> like right now, this video, I'm able to film it because they're not home. So whenever they weren't home, I would be able to film a reading. So the delivery times right now are like a week to 10 days, which, you know, it's not too bad, but at the same time, I wish I could dish them out faster. So um, that is going to change. The delivery times for readings will probably be between three to five days, if that, maybe even less. It just depends on my schedule and how many orders I get. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is um, Skype and FaceTime readings will be a thing. So if you want to FaceTime with me, if you want to do a Skype reading because maybe you're out of the country or you um, maybe you're still in Southern California, but I'm not as close to you as I used to be, we could do a Skype reading, okay? <laughs> so that's another big one. Um, there will be Skype sessions available for purchase. Um, what else? What else? Um, I think the services that I'm going to be offering will be changing as well. I mean, I really want to kind of like bring back some oldies but goodies. Um, a big change that you guys will probably be noticing already is that I'm no longer... Um, using Store Envy as my home base for my sales, I'm actually converting more to selling off of my website. So I did that specifically because Store Envy adds on their own little percentage of um, that they take out basically. <clears throat> so they take out their little fees, and then I'm left with it's it, it just depends because once Store Envy takes out their percentage and once PayPal does, I'm usually left with maybe like. 15 to 20 dollars taken out of my whole thing and i'm that's 15 to 20 bucks that i'm not seeing that usually that kind of sucks and i also noticed that store envy was charging my clients for like little fees like a dollar 99 for the, the whatever it was and i was just like that's not cool you know like you guys are already paying for a service you shouldn't be charged an extra two dollars for what because of store envy so I decided to kind of slowly move away from that. The Store Envy shop is still available because I know some of you guys find it easier to um, purchase through there than just PayPal and that's fine, but eventually it's gonna go away. <laughs> eventually I'm only gonna be taking payment via my website. So that's another big change that you're gonna start noticing more and more um, in 2019. Let's see what else um classes so i have always wanted to teach my own tarot class and i'm planning on one um an online course for you guys it's going to be affordable um it's going to be i don't know how many classes it's going to be but i still have to work out all of like the little details but that is another thing that is going to be coming up um so get ready for that too it's just i have to work out a couple of the details and whatnot um, my Facebook group is booming. We have about 580 members at the moment, and we are currently doing a book club on Witch. So this has been a really cool book to read. There is a lot of opinions based on the author's um, subject matter and whatnot. So it's been really interesting to read a book that... Um, some people love and some people hate. <laughs> um, it's been really interesting, the dialogues that have been taking place within um, the comments. So if you're interested in joining the book club, you can. The link to um, my Facebook page should be in the in the description box. I'll make sure to add it this time. Um, what else, you guys? There's just, I think it's, oh, an Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me there. That is probably the main social media that I am on on a daily basis. Um, social media is important to me, but I would say Instagram and YouTube are probably the top two that I'm on. Um, but on my Instagram account, <clears throat> especially in January, starting January, 
I plan on doing lives. There's going to be way more lives. You're going to see me out live way more often. <laughs> it's been very, very, very rare for me to go live um, since I've moved back home. So it's going to be super nice to be able to go live whenever I want. Um, I want to do some more like astrology based readings i'm still studying astrology but i really want to add that element into my readings because it is a passion that i have um i just there's just a lot of really cool things that are going to be coming up and i'm really excited to kind of like open up that whole experience with you guys so i hope you're as excited as i am um i look forward to you know growing with you all and just really living the TCM experience as I have been wanting to and I'm finally going to be able to do that in my own space so this is just a really like really important time for me and um I am just I'm excited so <laughs> it couldn't happen any faster it basically um but yeah so that is basically like what's been going on in my life um other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. My marriage is happy. I'm happy. My work life is happy. Like, my day job is good. Um, so, it's really the big changes are in my foundation. So, as you guys know, when your foundation is rocky and, like, when you are not, you when you don't have a home, when you can't call a place home, like, the last two years, I really don't call this place home. It used to be my home. I grew up here. But it just didn't feel like it for the last two years. And so when you are in that like weird limbo where your foundation just doesn't feel like your foundation anymore, it can be a little exhausting. It could be, um, I would say, disempowering. Like it makes you feel like you're not independent. It makes you feel like you are back to being a little girl you know at least in my sense like it made me feel like I'm not an adult um I didn't I didn't ooh, I didn't like that feeling <laughs> I don't like to feel I like to look younger than I am but I don't like to feel like I'm not my age you know what I mean and so I think that that was one of the hardest things that I was struggling with with especially the last couple months and I think that that's what kind of just pushed us to just say you know what let's just let's just go for it let's just try this so I'm glad we're doing it it really honestly and this is like the message I wanted to say also is it takes a leap of faith that fool card and the tarot so true if you want growth and if you want to change and advance in life sometimes you have to be uncomfortable sometimes you have to jump into the unknown the unknown even if you don't know where you're going to be afterwards um that's just that's just the truth um, so yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to share that. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know what else I wanted to talk about. I guess I just wanted to come on here and play show face with you guys, you know, that I'm still here and I'm still doing my thing. Um, I know that there has been nothing but client reading videos that I've been putting up on YouTube and I apologize for not being able to put any other content out there but that's another thing that's going to happen is there will be so much more youtube videos coming your way from me um that will not be client readings it's going to be literally like me discussing topics um doing fun stuff you know it's not going to be just client readings so that's another thing if you like you know if you like videos if you like watching videos um, there'll be some more content for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> um, I don't know, you guys. I don't know what else I want to talk about. I guess the other thing that was on my mind was... Sorry, my nose got all itchy. Ugh, it usually gets like that when I want to sneeze. Um, the other thing that was on my mind was this book club. So the book Witch, um, it really brought up a lot of like mixed emotions there were are a lot of like things that people didn't like about this book um and they were voicing it in the in the comments and it almost made me I'll be honest it almost made me feel embarrassed to put up a book like this for everyone to read because I felt like I felt conflicted I felt I don't have a problem with the book I'm just gonna say it. I don't have a problem with the book 
Um, I guess because obviously I'm a woman and the book is geared towards women, but I can see when I like place myself outside of myself and I place myself in someone else's footsteps, the people who were actually having an issue with the book and seeing it from their eyes, I could see why it would be such a problematic subject for them. And for that, I felt almost like I wanted to take it back. Like I wanted to take back the fact that I, that I allowed this book to be in the book club. But <laughs> after I went through that emotion, I also started to realize, you know what? I don't want to take it back. You know why? Because this created so much dialogue in the group, so many different emotions, and it allowed us to really speak our minds that I feel like that's healthy. I feel like that is necessary. And I also want to say, just because you don't like a book doesn't mean you have to read it. So I feel like even though the topics in the book may not vibe with everybody, everybody doesn't have to read the book. You know what I mean? And I've done that. Like I've picked up books in the past where I thought it would be really good. And then as I'm reading it, I'm like, you know what? I don't really agree with what's being said here. Um, and I choose not to read it. I won't finish it, you know, and I'll take the hit of, okay, I spent like what this book is how much? $15.99, you know? Um, okay. I wasted 15 bucks, whatever. But when you think about it, you waste so much money just buying shit that you don't need <laughs> or spending money on food that you're going to eat it. So I just feel like the argument of wasting money on a book is so it's like, well, I don't see it as a waste. But if you want to look at it as a waste, then I guess you can. But what can you do? Donate it? Give it to someone else who might appreciate it? I mean, that's the thing with books and that's also the thing with book clubs is it opens up a, a, um, an opportunity for everybody to discuss topics. Not everybody is going to agree with a, an author's opinion. And that's the beauty of books. Um, you cannot expect to open up a book and agree with everything that you're going to read. That's just ridiculous. You can't, you just, you can't have that expectation. And I think that that was like something that kind of irritated me a little bit when I was seeing it coming up in the book club, like in the notes, in the comments, where I was like, well, the whole point of a book club is to discuss things and you have to, you're not going to agree with everything. It's not a perfect world. And not everybody is going to share the same opinions as you. So that's the other thing. It's like, and I have to work on that too. If someone challenges my opinion, I, I uh, this is the thing. You have to be able to express yourself, right? But if someone is going to challenge your opinion, you got to have to be open to that too. And that's one thing I do struggle with because if someone challenges me, I'll get butthurt and sensitive because I'm, I'm a sensitive person, <laughs> but then I also have to realize, you know what, but I am allowed to be sensitive and I also am allowed to have my opinion. So, um, my opinion of the book is I actually enjoy it. There's some stuff that I read where it really made me think, and that's the point of a book club. It makes you think, but I'm just glad that I can have that opportunity to share my perspective. And I would hope that my perspective would be respected just like I'm willing to respect everyone else's perspective. So that's the lesson that I've been learning with this whole book club is that I could choose any book. This book was the one that was voted for. And we could choose any book, but not everybody is going to agree with the contents of that book. And that is fine. I don't have any high expectations. I'm one of those people where I could read this whole thing and I may not agree with it 100%, but it's not going to bother me. You know what I mean? And other people are different. Some people, it bothers them. So that's what I've been learning. And <laughs> I did feel a little nervous after the fact. Like after I saw so many people who were upset over the book, I was kind of like, I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, well, maybe we shouldn't be reading this. But then I thought, you know what? No, if they don't want to read it, they don't have to. If you don't want to be in the book club, you don't have to. Come and go, you know what I mean? But um, I didn't want to not read it because someone else didn't like it. And that's the big important thing to me is like, just because you don't like it or you think it's wrong doesn't mean that I can't read it, you know? And that, here's the other point I'm going to make before I get even more heated. Um, <laughs> so that's, this is going to be the last point and then I'm going to end the video because I don't want to get all mad. 
is just because someone else doesn't like the content in the book and they think that this author is a hateful person and, and you know, left out a whole bunch of people and blah, 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 doesn't make you a hateful person for reading the book and enjoying the content. That's important. And I need to say that because I know myself, I am not a hateful, judgmental person. I try my best to be as open and loving to everybody as I can, but one, I am a woman and I do really mesh with the woman topics in this book. And if I enjoy it, I enjoy it because it, it, it resonates with me, but it does not make me a hateful person. So if you think that, that's on you guys. But I just felt like I needed to say that because I don't want people in my book club thinking that because they're reading this and then they're seeing all of these comments about the book, you know, in a negative way. It, I don't want you guys to think that you're you're hateful you're you're like a hateful person for enjoying the contents of a book. No. Don't don't worry about that kind of stuff. Um and I feel like I have to say that because that was something that I was really thinking. <laughs> I was kind of struggling with that. I was like, so if I agree with this stuff, does that make me a bad person? No. Does that make me a closed-minded person? No. Um it just means that I'm embracing my womanhood in my way, the way I want to embrace it. And if I like some of the stuff this author is saying, there shouldn't be a problem with it. And that just goes back to what I was saying before. We are open and entitled to our own opinions and our belief systems. And just because one person doesn't agree with it doesn't mean that you're wrong and it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. So everyone just has their own way of approaching a path. And what works with one person may not work for everybody, but that's okay. So we're going to continue reading Witch for the book club. I am pretty much, I have them, I have the, the chapters made so that we could get through the whole book. Um, but by the end of January, I believe. Um, and then we'll start a whole new poll for a new book. So <sighs> I just wanted to put that out there because I feel like that is like, it's a hot topic right now in my group. Um, so that's what that is. So anyways, my, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you guys for tapping in, checking in with me and um, seeing what's going on in my realm. I can't wait to share with you more of the um, process of this house and I can't wait to show it to you and I can't wait to show my new space with you and grow. But until then, I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.